Hi, I'm Gareth Ward, chef owner of Few Michelin Star Inesia Restaurant Rooms in Wales. So the first time I came to Inesia, I remember the journey from the Midlands where I was working at the time and um, coming into Wales and I was just mind blown by the scenery and the location. And I remember getting to the bottom of the drive and coming through the gates and thinking, I don't care what this job is, I'm having it because I want to live here for a bit. So I came in and just I was just blown away. It was a very different restaurant then. It was a it was a very chateau hotel, you know. But I said I'll do three years and see what happens. And when the three years came to a fruition, um, it was I got the opportunity to take it on and make it my own. This this was it, like turning it, flipping it on its head, turning it into a food focused destination restaurant, you know, where people come and spend 12, 24 hours here and just get smashed in by incredible ingredients and flavours you know, and come and enjoy the beautiful surroundings that it is, it is in and just have a great time and relax. The ultimate goal within Insea is to just make our mark on the industry, you know. I want to put this little piece of Wales on the map for food and I want people to come and see the, what it is and where it is and, you know, and come and have fun. Uh, the feeling of getting two stars, it was, it was proper overwhelming to be honest. Um, it kind of like, it, it didn't feel any different to the second star because obviously winning one star is an incredible achievement, you know. But it's just that like, very humbled, very proud of what we've done. We don't do this for awards, we don't do it for accolades, we don't do it for we do it for ourselves. You know, I cook for me, you know, I've got to get out of bed every morning, early in the morning, come to work and I want to enjoy myself, have a great time. The Inner Sea project is never ever finished. It will never be finished, you know, every single day. It's, it just changes every day. It never ever stands still, you know. I do think, I do feel that, especially in this country, we have broke the mold a little bit. We're just doing our own thing. You know, we don't follow any trends. We don't follow any, any other people, what anybody else does in, in, in how they run a restaurant or how they cook. We just do our own little thing. And it's so much easier because we're in the middle of nowhere. We don't see what anybody else is doing. We don't hear what anybody else is doing. An inspiration for me for what we do here is just comes from inside of these four walls. It comes from my team, comes from me, comes from what I love to eat, you know, and it's all very off the cuff at the moment, you know, and we don't really plan everything, it just happens. Yeah, so it started off as just a small project and just turned into something huge. And it was hilarious because it's just like if everyone comes back, they're gonna be like, Jesus, what's going on here? But now, yeah, it's, it just, it, we would never have done that. We would never have had the time. And we, and we completely ripped up the book in the kitchen and we started a game with the menus and he used to have run two menus before COVID. We took it down into one, we rewrote all the recipes, we did a lot of development with the dishes. Yeah, recruitment is it's very, it's very special, it has to be done properly and it, it's very important that you get the right people because obviously location again, we talk about that. You've got, they've got to want to move away from every civilization, and they've got to be, they've got to want to come here to work here. It can't be a lifestyle choice unless you'd want to get remote. So they, and every single night, every customer comes into the kitchen. Before they've mentioned the food or anything, they go, your team's incredible. And that means more to me than anything. Yeah, you come in here and it's just, it's a very different experience to what you ever used to. The lights are off, it's dark, you're pumping music out, we've got a live DJ. So I, I want to listen to great music, I want to eat great food, or cook great food and have a great time, you know. So that's what you've got to expect here. You're not going to be sat in a restaurant where it's deadly silent with white tablecloths. You're going to have music blasting, you know. You're going to have a great atmosphere. You're going to be chucked 30 courses, you know. It's all going to come off the barbecue. It's just going to, but just relax and enjoy yourself and have a great time.